cancer and thank you guys so much for tuning in so guys um i was not able well i was going to do your mid month uh your august mid month super super late it was technically going to be like on the last day of august so i figured i was just going to do your september reading but we're going to do an overview of august to see what you guys went through i do apologize for that guys um i just announced to everyone that i officially have quit doing personal readings so i just had a lot of work come in i still do offer questions guys if you still need that option but in regards to full lane personal readings i do not offer them anymore so if anybody is waiting on a reading i've said this a thousand times but i'll say it again just in case you know someone hasn't caught it but guys just please be patient and give me time to get through these readings because i had hundreds of requests come in so i'm not even looking at the days that people booked on um i'm literally just going to do them in the order that they came in and that they were paid for and yeah guys just give me time um please try to refrain from rushing me or anything like that because it only slows me down me having to explain to people you know what the hold up is slows me down so i did let everyone know only purchase this reading if you guys are able to really just be patient and wait and not be the type of person who rushes me so um you know let's hope that everybody understands that all right guys so i'm pulling three cards here you know i want to look at the energy of what you guys were going through you know just in august and with the energy that we have here we have the six of cups and we have the nine of cups so this could be something that has to do with you either leaving something amicably in the past or coming towards um something towards your past that's like coming back into your life and a lot of happiness around this but i see that there could have been something that you're going towards like kind of in a slow way or maybe it was with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well. But there was something that was reckless about this. With the Page of Swords in the reverse, this is when people have, you know, really harsh sense of communication. So let's just see why these cards are popping up here. And again, guys, we're looking at August 2019 right now before getting into your September reading. We have the Strength card, the King of Cups, and we have the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, I see something that you were, you know, that you guys were really moving towards in a very methodical, slow way, something that you were building, something that I feel like you were very powerful in, but I feel like something maybe brought, brought kind of like a bad side out of you, not necessarily a bad side, but a situation where you were arguing with someone or there was just a very harsh sense of communication, but something that you're very strong towards. Okay, let's pull some three more cards and see what comes up. All right, so we have the Queen of Coins, the Six of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Page of Wands in the reverse. So something that was just very difficult to move away from. Um, a very prominent energy here is that coin slash pentacle energy. So if it wasn't a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you guys were dealing with, um, it could have been someone that just has the characteristics of just being very, um, for the most part, very humble. You think of you know the earth sign qualities. So people who are very solid for the most part, very reliable. You know the people who will make things from scratch. They're not afraid to get their hands dirty and you know really put in hard work. So if it's not someone like that, then it could have something to do with their finances as well. Yeah, but I see something here that it just had to end because someone had too much of a selfish intention towards it. Okay, so that's that could have been where you know this problem just stemmed from. Okay, so lastly, guys, I'm gonna I usually pull you know cards of advice after every reading, so I'm gonna pull cards on what you guys have to learn or why you have to go through what you went through for August, what you should do in regards to it, how to get past it. If the cards just have any you know piece of advice here for you, Ooh, let's see what this is. All right, guys. So the nine of coins came out. Let's pull three more cards here. You have the page of swords, the knight of swords, and you have the moon card. And the magician in the reverse, ten of cups in the reverse. So there's something here that either it's still in your life in some way, shape, or form, or you're just not over it, okay? Maybe it's an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or maybe this is just an attitude that you need to have because these are going to be people or just an energy that is very focused on how do I get from point A to point B, you know, without being deterred in any way, shape, or form. But 
I just see you guys very, very focused and just kind of like emancipating yourself from something after seeing the truth in a situation. Um, you know, just doing what you have to do, but knowing that you could do it on your own. All right, but whether it's something that you're still hurt over or whether it's something that's still in your life in some way, I do see you guys healing from this. But whatever this is that the cards are talking about is something that definitely caused some sort of loss, whether it be financial, emotional, spiritual. And with the hanged man in the reverse, it just shows that this is something that, one, not only do you have to get past, but this was something that just didn't feel natural for you guys. All right. So definitely something that you guys had to emancipate yourself from, be self-sufficient, but you're still going to be in a good place. All right. So let's actually pull a past, present, and future um, spread for September 2019. So guys, this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer Signs. Whatever comes out, comes out. Keep in mind, guys, that the energies here could be transferable. So it could be something that you're going through or it could be something that another person close to you is going through. So let's see what's going on here, guys. Now, guys, I did create a new Instagram and a new Twitter as well. But my Instagram is High Vibrations Tarot. Um, my personal Instagram is High Vibrations 44 if you guys want to check that out. But I just want to separate my personal life from like anything spiritual that I do. So you guys can go there for daily energies, High Vibrations Tarot. And if you guys are on Twitter, then you can find me at Bruja Shit. B -U, I mean, B-R-U-J-A Bruja. And then, yeah, just your shit. But I'll put this information in the bio uh, below, guys. All right, guys. So the energy that you have for this month is the Eight of Wands in the reverse. All right, so with the Ace of, so uh, of Wands in the reverse, this is when something ends, and it could kind of end in a dramatic way. It could have been something that you were passionate about that you're not moving forward with. But there's just something here that was just very unstable, okay? Something that maybe you had some sort of unstable transition just, like, moving away from this. But I feel like this is something that, for the most part, a lot of you could have decided to just drop, okay? So let's see what's going on, guys. So the first card that you guys have for the past is the Nine of Coins in the Reverse. Now, when this card comes up, this could be a reconciliation of some sort that comes into your life or something that is just very draining, whether it's financially or just someone who's being a leech. So let's see why this nine of coins is in the reverse here. We have the world card in the reverse. And we have the three of wands in the reverse. Honestly, for some of you, it could have been some sort of reconciliation that you tried to have, but it just didn't work out. Or something that was just draining you in your life that you you knew you couldn't build upon. But again, it was just like still there in some way. You have the page of coins. So if this isn't something that you're trying to figure out, then it could just be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn again that was involved in this. Um, the next card that you guys have for your past is the Eight of Swords in the reverse. This is a situation where you see something clearly for what it is. Um, you're able to get past the mental hold that it has on you. You're able to see things clearly. You have the justice card in the reverse. So maybe you're seeing that something just wasn't just. Something wasn't um, trustworthy. And you just don't want to fight no more. Okay? Five of swords in the reverse. Not wanting to fight. Um, with the king of cups, it's like, you know, with this being your energy, it's like you still see yourself as a powerful person. Even if this is affecting you in any way, shape, or form. You still see yourself as like a good person. Um, the last card that you guys have for the past is the ace of coins so this is a new beginning that comes in and when it comes to you know the ace of coins which is the ace of pentacles it could either be something that you're you're building very slowly something that has to do with money but anytime you start something in this way it's something that again you're slowly building on but it really has um a, a chance for longevity we have the three of swords in the reverse and we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. So honestly, there's this new beginning that's happening for you guys in the past, but you're still not over something you're having a hard time moving away from. So it's just very clear here that there's something that you guys are building on. You know you need to move away from something. You know something's not working. Um, and, and you're doing so. You know that you can be strong and, and influential and powerful in what you do. But again, you're just dealing with the transition of letting go of something from the past. All right? But I definitely see that there's just something that was just way too adverse for you guys that it's just like, look, I have to make this change. And that's something with the two of coins here that you're probably, you know, trying to weigh out. You know, what's the best way to go about this? Should I do this? Is this the right choice? 
all right so for the present moment guys the first card that you have is the devil card so when the devil card comes out for some of you maybe you're dealing with the capricorn specifically um but this could also be something that is very toxic for you uh whether it's a person whether it's just habits that we have now with the devil card guys i know that it can have such a negative connotation but sometimes it could be something as simple as doing an action that if you do it you know from time to time it's not really going to affect you but if you do it excessively it can so for example you know having two or three shots you know a night could be fine but if you are excessive and you take 12 to 15 shots now that's when you're playing with the devil because now it becomes something that's very toxic for you it can make you literally sick so you have to look at it in that way as well so let's see why this devil card is here right now we have the knight of swords in the reverse and the two of cups in the reverse. There's something, again, that you're ending, whether it's a relationship, a friendship, uh, working for someone, a project maybe that you were working on, something that's very reckless that you're letting go of, and you just don't want to be involved anymore, five of coins. So there's some sort of rejection here. Someone, someone or something is being left out in the cold. This could be some financial problems that somebody comes across, but there's just something that you can't do anymore. The next card that you guys have is the Eight of Spears um, in the reverse, and Spears in this deck is Wands, guys. So with the Eight of Wands in the reverse, you just cut something off. You stop communicating with someone, or maybe they stop communicating with you. There's no more reciprocation, you know, in a situation here. So, I mean, this is your central card as well. This is the middle of the spread. So this is what everything taps into. So this spread is strongly saying that something has got to go. You have the queen of uh, spears in the reverse, which is queen of wands in the reverse. And then we have the queen of cups here. So something that... It could be something that really, really make you, it can make you very angry. It can make someone around you very angry, but it's something that I don't see you wanting to be angry about. The fact that the Queen of Cups is in the center, regardless of whether you're male or female, this is someone who is very tapped into their emotion and it's someone who's very gentle and very still. Think of the way that water naturally flows. That's the Queen of Cups. So even if this is something that was hard on you, it's like, I don't I don't feel like you guys are going to deal with this in a malicious way. I think that you guys are still gonna be very tender and, and gentle with how you care for yourself at this time or how you choose to deal with the situation. Um, I see someone that has to leave something and they just, they just wanna be okay. They just wanna be in a good place. They don't wanna be bothered emotionally. They, they just wanna be stable emotionally. Okay. We have the Page of Cups and the Six of Coins. You guys are doing what needs to be done in order to have balance. So I, le I see, rather, a lot of... I see a lot of doing what you need to do to make sure that you're good, okay? And that's a beautiful thing, guys. Your last card for the present moment is the Hierophant. All right, when the Hierophant comes out, it's showing that everything that had to happen in your life was all for a purpose, that you're on the right path, um, that the path that you're on, you know, everything that you've had to go through, it's, it's, it's like pushing you towards your greatest potential. All right. Why is this higher font here? What does this mean for you guys? We have the page of wands in the verse. And we have the page of swords in the verse and what came out to the seven of cups. So it's showing that whatever is in your life right now, guys, where there's fighting, arguing, pettiness, a lot of rumors being spread, or someone just being a plain ass, or maybe it's just someone who's not talking to you, or you're not talking to them, something that's just not working out, there's a lot of illusion here, it's something that you're meant to let go of. But with the Hierophant being here, the good thing is that whatever it was that you guys went through, it was all for a reason. So it's not like you went through this for nothing. It's not like you endured any sort of pain or any sort of, um, you know, this... I don't want to say, um, that's not the word I'm looking for. I was going to say disparity, but um, anything that you guys are going through where there's any, where you felt any sort of lack, it's like it was all for a reason. There's something that happened that is setting you up for a better, you know, a better future. All right. You have the emperor here. So with this coming out, you're in a place where you've acquired enough wisdom to be able to make logical decisions moving forward. This is someone, you know, someone that's just been through hell and back. This is Jon Snow. All right. So take the Jon Snow attitude where it's just like you're going to do what's right for the masses, for the collective. You want to be honest. You want to be genuine. You want to be good. And you're, you're going to know at times that you can't always. Wow. It's perfect that they chose him for this. But you're going to realize that sometimes what you have to choose to do may not be what you want to do. But it's going to be the best thing to do. And it's all the experiences and all the wisdom that you have acquired that gets you to this point. So um, there's just going to be a lot of certainty with you guys moving forward. 
in regards to what you should do. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to do it, but you'll have, you know, in your soul, you'll know the direction you have to take. All right, so let's move forward. The first card that you guys have for the future is the Knight of Cups. So you guys being very charismatic, you guys moving forward, um, you know, in a way that suits you, in a way that you're happy and emotionally stable. Now you have the Two of Coins. Let's pull one more card. And the Fool card. So you guys are in a place where, again, you want to avoid drama, anything like that at all costs. And there's something new that comes in and now you're debating, should I do this or should I not? All right, you have the hermit mode, so uh, or the hermit card. So maybe you're in hermit mode, okay? Maybe you're in a place where you're really, really heavily studying something, or maybe you just need to be away from people or away from someone, just kind of like in your own head. So let's see why this hermit is here. We have the tower card, and we have the strength card. You choose to do that. You guys choose to take a path where it's just like, you know what? The only person who's going to look out for me is me. And this is something that I know I can do, and I know I can change my life, and I'm going to be strong, and I, and I have to do this. Um, what's honorable about whatever it is that you guys are going through is that for those of you, especially if you had a hard time getting through this, it's like you, you're, you're not dealing with it. Well, most of you, because this could be vice versa, and we do have the double coming out here, but I feel like a lot of you, um, the majority of you, are just trying to deal with this in a way where you're not causing more stress for yourself. Okay, because I know when it comes to low vibrational cancer, and every sign has their low vibrational signs, um, I always say the worst thing you could ever do is judge a person by their sun sign because we all have such different charts and it can mean so much. So you could put me in a group of, uh, you know, 20 different cancers, but I know each and every one is going to be so different in their own way, although they're going to have a lot of similar qualities. So the, the shadow qualities that you'll see in some cancers if you haven't evolved, if you haven't learned how to deal with life in like a, a mature sort of way, um, it's going to be people who will try to manipulate a situation. And, you know, a, a low vibrational cancer could be a very, very toxic cancer. Um, a lot of people are under the impression that water signs are very fair for the most part. But a low vibrational water sign could be the toughest thing to deal with. It could be the most evil thing a person comes across, to be honest with you. All right, and this is coming from a complete unbiased place. My father's a cancer, okay? So I see the good, I see the bad. But for most of you, you don't want to do anything that's going to bring in that sort of drama. You're kind of just at the point where it's just like, yo, let me do what I got to do. Like, I don't want this anymore. I'm just going to walk away. I didn't even realize this was your last card because I was so focused on everything else. You have the Eight of Cups, guys, so you're walking away. You have the Judgment card in the verse. So when the Judgment card comes out, guys, it's a very strong statement because it's when you're making that final call on something is this good for me or is it not this is the final decision okay so you're deciding that something's just not good you're moving away from it and with the king of swords in the verse it could have been a situation where there was um abuse mentally physically emotionally verbally maybe somebody who is just being very malicious for whatever reason it could also be somebody that has been pushed to such an extreme that now they protect themselves in such an extreme way and they look like an asshole for it even though they were pushed towards it so it doesn't always have to be someone who wakes up wanting to be malicious it's like they have no choice but uh you know but to protect themselves in a very fierce way but guys this leads you to happiness all right so there's something that you fall away from but you heal from it for some of you maybe it's a third party situation in love maybe it's a depression that you went through maybe it's a group of friends that you have to drop you know a um a job that you have to drop things like that but the worst that you could have gone through with the Ten of Swords in the Reverse has already happened, all right? So I see extreme happiness coming in. So honestly, guys, you know, I'm going to pull you some cards of advice, but from what I'm seeing here, you're kind of at a point where it's like, you know, I don't, I don't care what happens to those around me. And it's not even like in a malicious way. Like even if someone hurt you, you're just at the point where it's just like, look, I don't even want revenge. Like I just want to move on. I just want to, you know, continue on with my day and, and not add more fuel to the fire, okay? It's very easy to entertain a situation that doesn't serve you. But in this case, I don't see you guys having the energy to do that or just really not wanting to do it. All right. So what cards of advice can I give to the sign of cancer for September 2019? All right, guys, we have the eight of coins in reverse. 
the Knight of Coins in the reverse, and the Two of Cups. Something that's not going to work out. There's going to be some sort of betrayal, some sort of harsh ending, something where there's secrets. But this actually leads you to a victory, guys. Okay, you have um, the Six of Wands, and you have the King of Wands, and the Three of Wands. So yeah, you're losing faith in something, but with you turning your back on this, either you have some sort of victory in regards to a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or you just have victory in something that you're very, very, very passionate about. So either way, this leads you to a good thing, all right? So because you don't go towards something, you come across something that is excellent for you with this Two of Cups here. So let's clarify this. We have the Six of Swords. Seven of coins in the reverse, and the seven of swords. Yeah, guys, there's you know you might be upset with what you need to let go of, but there's just either you're you're being dishonest to yourself if you stay here, or someone's just being dishonest with you, or maybe you're being dishonest towards someone, and maybe that's why you have to move away from it. But whatever that is, guys, that's something that leaves you stuck. That's something that doesn't allow you to fulfill your ultimate potential. All right, so whatever this is, it's a waste of time. You have to move away from it. And again, there could be secrets here. Maybe some of you have to be secretive about the fact that, or maybe you're, you're being secretive towards um, what you're going towards in life right now. Because it does show that there is a victory that comes in. So either you're doing something kind of on the hush, or there's just secrets around the situation that you have to let go of at this point. So guys, this is very clear that something is holding you back. And that you know exactly what it is and that with you, you know, really putting your foot down and making sure you don't move forward towards this, you end up being good. You end up being 100% a-okay. Okay, so this is a no-brainer, Cancer. Now, um, I will leave all the information below in regards to my social medias. Um, and if you guys need to get any sort of, you know, if you need anything from me, again, I'm only doing questions right now. Um, again, guys, if anyone is waiting on a full 15 to 20 minute reading, just know, guys, I'm working every day on it. So I just don't want to be rushed because there's days where I will spend literally like two hours responding to people who want to know, like, where am I in line, blah, blah, blah. And that's, you know, 10 readings I could have done instead. So I'd rather just work on readings. So if I'm not responding, it's because I want to get your reading out faster. So just keep that in mind, guys. And just, you know, be understanding and let me get through this. Okay, guys. I love you, Cancer. Take care.